Welcome back, everybody. Hey there. Good morning, guys. Joe here. And Kevin. Yeah, it's Monday morning, and we're ready to start the day with some Dairy Girls. Yeah, um, I really enjoyed the season two premiere. I wasn't sure after the bombing yeah. uh, that, that kind of brilliantly wrapped up season one. Sure. Uh, where we were going to jump into on season two. So they gave they gave it some time. Uh, um, and they addressed conflicts right. within Ireland. In, yeah, in they, the, they the did, premiere, for sure. Right? Yeah. In a fun way. Right. Um, the Catholics versus the Protestants. Right. Which is so interesting because... Um, I've, I've, you know, obviously since we've started watching this, tried to educate myself a little bit more sure. about, about the troubles. Context helps. Right. <laughs> and it, but, but, you know, there's so much, so many muddy aspects of this that it's really, sure. I mean, I'm, like any conflict, it's very layered. And so, yeah, there was like this Catholic Protestant thing, mostly kind of the Catholic minority against the, the, uh, Protestant majority government sure. who was really siding with England. Um, but none of the, nothing about the conflict was actually religious. No, which is it was like <laughs> which is a good metaphor. It was like, yeah, it was like that's yeah. okay. So the the silly the silliness of war, um, and oppression because I mean the, the, you know it kind of makes sense of why there was that there was actual oppression against the Catholic minority, and then, sure. and then the, and the violent reaction lasts thirty years and kills thirty five hundred people, yeah. mostly civilians. You know it was it was rough. It's a big mess. Yeah, and, it's, you it's know, a big mess. I've been trying to read up on it too, and also. You guys sharing the information that yeah, you know for sure, absolutely. has been incredible. So yep. thank you for doing that. Yeah, yeah. Um, forgive, but... forgive our ignorance. Um, <laughs> as, as I said to commenters on YouTube, this is just an area of world history yeah. that just is not covered in American high schools. Um, for whatever yeah, reason. Really at all. Like, for, our, yeah. for, for whatever reason, our curricula just did not care that much um, as far as, as what we look at. We, we look mostly at American history. Yeah. Um, Even though there's, you know. Tons and tons and tons of Irish immigrants that came to this country. It's insane. As we've seen over the last couple of years, our history is largely propagandized. So it's like, sure. hey, guys, sit down for class today and let's tell you why you being an American makes you the best. <laughs> and, and and so if you're wondering, like, where does this American unearned confidence and arrogance come from sometimes? Mm -hmm. We're told from the time we're born that we live in the best place and, have, and are the best people. It's just a... Uh, a reality that that finally, as like you know, one of the one of the few good things of social media is we start you know, it young, connects everybody. Young, right? Younger it, people it start to realize everybody. maybe we no. aren't quite always the best. But we we we've wandered off topic. But at any rate, that's why we seem to be largely ignorant of these issues as American schools. I don't know about now, but when I was in school, really didn't cover this topic at all. No, like at all, Hard, hardly at all. I, I think watching Patriot Games as a kid was the first time I knew it was even a thing. Mine was the. Uh... Oh my God, the Brad Pitt movie. Uh, I didn't Devil, see it. Devil's Devil's yeah, with the Harrison Ford. Yeah, I know what it is. I've never seen it. <laughs> if you want to talk about the worst Irish accent of all time, Harrison Brad, Ford. Brad Pitt. Oh, Brad Pitt. Okay, Brad Pitt I was, I was yeah, guessing. I, I was guessing yeah. a Harrison Ford. Um, but real quick before we start the episode, I want to talk about the last episode a little bit. Um, so we might be headed towards a relationship with Aaron, <laughs> right? And, and, the, and the the Protestant boy. Yeah. I forget his name. I, I, I did too. But um, there there were like they eight had Protestant moment, they boys. Had they they the had a moment at the end where she like call out the fact that hey we do have something in common mm -hmm. we, we're all lorded over by our hysterical parents yeah you know. <laughs> and i i hope we get more of the parents this season too because honestly the girls are wonderful but the parents are really what won me over in the first season i loved everything with the grandpa and, uh, and jerry, jerry. <laughs> joe and jerry i look forward to it each yeah week. right so i i'm really looking forward to see them this season and how they grow um and not to mention the, the girls obviously yeah um I'm I'm more along the lines of the girls and their school sure. experience with like sis, uh, sister Michael. You know, I, they I, balance both so well, right? And what's her name? Jessica, the awful girl. It is Jessica. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I their 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 school experience is is, is to me where I find a lot of the fun. Uh, we do want to go ahead and welcome El Rowe, Iridescent, Kimberly, and Mike Freeman to our Patreon group. Thanks so much, guys. We're really happy here with us. Yes, we are. If you guys are watching this on YouTube for the first time, welcome to our channel. If you don't mind, hit the like button for us. Leave us a comment down below, and please, please, please hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the new content we've coming your way. If you'd like to see a full reaction to this and everything else we've watched or watching, please check out the link in the description below to our Patreon page on all shows we're watching, including Dairy Girls. We're four episodes ahead on patreon of where we are on youtube so yes. if you want to keep going at the end of this that's the place to do it you will have to sync and watch along on your own device or streaming service you will only see and hear us for copyright purposes we're also watching 30 rock right now the patreon exclusive and i have just started watching the sopranos by yeah. myself because i have never seen it I always love the quiet opens <laughs> i do too and then the music's going to drop in yeah. <laughs> nope no music yeah. the bishop graciously bestowed a beautiful piece of religious art onto Our Lady Immaculate College. Simply tells me she doesn't like it. Still 
don't get what it's supposed to be. It's Jesus as a way. <coughs> Why's he got a big red hat on? Nobody knows. I've thought about it, and I'd much rather just hold on to him, actually. Oh, so she does like him. No. He brightens up my office. Uh, sadly, it's Sister Patrick has decided to leave us. She's returning to her missionary work. She's taken a teaching post in Belfast, Sister. <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Is this the new teacher? Yeah. I believe you've been expecting me. <laughs> what is it we should be doing, Miss? What should you be doing? What is it you want to do? Get pushed. <laughs> I'd quite like some feedback on the poetry assignment, actually. Poetry should always be read aloud. Some flowers are tall, some flowers are small. Okay. <laughs> That's not the end. It should be. Here's a poem about a dog. Here's another one about a dog. An English rose among thorns. Oh, I wonder who that is. Yeah, it's me. Yeah, I can see why you might want to remain anonymous. All right, and has written about how much they love their English class in an embarrassing attempt to suck up to the teacher. Dog poem. Go. The bullets fired on the streets as I lie in my bed. It's about the troubles, in a political <laughs> sense, but also about my own troubles in a personal sense. Oh my God, I'm, I, I'm embarrassed for her. <laughs> oh my God. It's someone failing to be bold. I'm sorry if the subtleties of my work were lost to you, Mr. Brin. Poetry is oh, no. truth, and great the poetry is raw. Yeah. It's not often in life you're allowed to tear up the page and start over. But I am going to give you that chance. This might be the most edgy teacher of all time. Right. Oh, nice. It's 95, I think? Yeah. Yeah, around there, yeah. What are you doing here? Mary said you were having a wee night to yourself, so I thought you might want some company. Hi. Oh, my well, God. Why would you think that? This is a nice surprise. When Sarah <laughs> asked me to the cinema, I thought, well, I thought she meant just the two of us. No. Double date it is then, so. wonder what's keeping Daddy. Oh, no, come on! Excuse me? I've got the tickets. I don't understand this. You hate the cinema? Oh, not since I discovered it's the only way I can spend time with our column. It's the one place the boring bastard doesn't talk. Oh, my God, they brought everybody. We haven't seen him since that one. Yeah. Where he, where he got his van stolen. Yeah. I know, love. I know. He's a hero. Yeah, that was actually <laughs> a, a move we all like. Yeah. Oh, imagine seeing this in the theater for the first time. <laughs> I, I did not see it in the theater. Imagine how many, like, <laughs> a-holes spoiled this movie for people. Yeah. Don't you be trusting them? I just want to check. Does your father think that they can hear him? You all follow me? Evacuation. <laughs> Great stuff. That's That's the last time I let you organize a night out. Okay, then. So carry on is a nightmare. I know. What rhymes with ride? Ride? Here's what I have so far. You know we belong together. You and I, forever and ever. No matter where you no. are, you're my guiding star. Isn't that the theme tunes are home and away? Sweet Jesus. Mommy, we can make a play. Not the Christmas cupboard. They've had the very tonics, Mary. We were just yeah. going to take a handful of chocolate money, Mary, but then one thing led to another. What am I supposed to do? I'll have to start from scratch now. Let's just salvage what we can. <laughs> There's only a couple of snowballs left, Mary. It's been an absolute free-for-all. Your mothers will be hearing about that. Stressed? Our new English teacher made us rip up all our poems and redo them in one night. Who is this blowing? Her name's Mr. Brown. She said we weren't writing from the soul. Well, why, and under God, weren't you writing from the soul? Seriously. It was difficult to... Was she an edgy teacher, or is she just someone who's upset with how her life turned out? <laughs> Bit of both, you're right. <laughs> One day, girls, you two will just be an old photograph in a hallway. You only get one life. Yeah, she's going through something. Yeah. It's like her and the, uh, the edgy priest. Yeah, the right, priest really, yeah. Make your mark. Is it Peter? Is that yeah. Okay, so I said edgy nun. Clearly not a nun. She's just a teacher that yeah, hires. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So they're all trying to be her now. <laughs> <laughs> She's changed my life. She really has. She likes my accent. I dare for her. I think <laughs> I would too, you know. Some wine. Oh, no, actually, oh, I don't. Play. 
Here's. You don't have much stuff. Everything I own can fit into a suitcase. I've never understood yeah, why people weigh themselves right down now. with meaningless crap. Oh my god. This is the this is the wrong person to follow. This is like yeah. cult stuff. It's just so much pretension. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't think I'm familiar with that one. Who's it by? Me, it's by me. Wow. I think this is the only episode this woman's gonna be here. I think she's gonna crash and burn pretty soon yeah. here. She will not be teaching that yeah. shit. Hanging out of Mr. Burns' house. You were at her house? At night? Well, that's a bit inappropriate. Doesn't even make sense. Is she drunk? <laughs> Your ma's drunk. Okay, Claire. Yeah, I think we get the idea. Oh, lovely seeing you, Jack. Yeah, so she's going to tattle on them all, basically. Oh, yeah. And I don't think she's wrong, too. No. Look, this is driving Could me to asking. distraction. We'll have to go back yeah. tonight. It's not in the listings anymore, love. What? The cinema stopped showing it. Oh, well done. It's not my fault. No. I can't go on like this. We need to know. Well, that's us away. Yeah. Where's your socks? I, I wouldn't even know too. They're just not for me, Mammy. <laughs> You're up to something, and I'll get to the bottom of it. Honest to God, Aaron, between you and Kaiser Soze, my head has turned. Yeah. <laughs> Take a seat, please, ladies. Oh, they fired her, yeah. Where's Mr. Or she Brent? left. She just Gone. left, yeah. She's not coming back. I will be <laughs> taking this class for the rest of the term, which makes me want to pull off my own face, but needs must. This was you, wasn't it? You can't yeah. sack her, you just can't! <laughs> Miss Quinn. You appear to be under the misapprehension that you can address me as though you are my equal. Are we going to find out if they sacked her or if she just left? She could have just left. Right. It's a misdirect, you know? Yeah. This isn't flaky. I think she would have, yeah. someone that would have just left. I think she's still figuring her own stuff yeah, out. Yeah, right. Can we not find a way to help her that doesn't involve abducting a holy statue? We're not abducting him, Claire. We're kidnapping him. Is that different? Right. I'll write the ransom note. We need a oh copy of today's newspaper. Why? <laughs> it's just a dumb thing, kidnapping wise. <laughs> they nailed this so yeah. High schoolers are so dumb, man. <laughs> no, you need to run. God. Time, isn't it? <laughs> Most satanic. <laughs> what in God's name have you done? Either it is replaced at your expense or the school will sue. I think he looks better. He looks like his head's on upside down. And I'll be suspending them for a week. <gasps> it was an accident, Mom. Oh, so you accidentally wrote a ransom note, did you? Okay, that bet wasn't an accident. But we were so upset by what happened to Mr. Brennan. Mr. Brune has decided to leave us. Yeah, he got okay, offered yeah. a post in St. Dominic's Scares. Better wages, holiday pay, great pension. She worked like Carpe two days. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. I was wondering if they were kind of doing a dead, dead poet society thing. I guess thing, we yeah. never knew who the real Mr. Brune was. I'd be so upset that I was spoiled, though. Yeah. I should have moved up. And I don't know if he'd already seen it or he was just trolling or what, but like as soon as Kevin Spacey shows up, he goes, oh, that's him. And I was like, yeah. No, I, I, I was so upset. I was like, "No, it's not." I, I've watched it with people who, about halfway through, are like, "It's Kevin Spacey." It's yeah. Kevin Spacey, and then, but, but the way the end comes, it's like maybe it was Gabriel Byrne. The way yeah. the way it's structured and everything. Um, I really hope we're not spoiling that for anybody. But if they you just, haven't, they just did. Suspects, uh, yeah, come on. I mean, it's it's thirty years old. What's really funny to me is like so many reactors are watching it and like, "Oh my god!" And like. You've never it's heard been of in this. pop culture, it, right? It's like the Sixth Sense at this point. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, no. Go home sometime. This, I encourage everybody, find reactions to The Sixth Sense, uh -huh. and you'll know who the reactors who are full of crap are. Yeah. Because, like, I, I believe a lot of people haven't seen The Sixth Sense. I sure. really do. But I don't think anybody doesn't know the twist ending at this point, Isn't right? Isn't there, like, a Lonely Island song? Yes. Where it's like, like it's yeah. everywhere. Like, yeah. If I, I've seen it. I saw it in the theater. Sure. If I hadn't seen it, I would know because I've heard it so many times. Didn't Fifty First Dates make a big joke out they, of yeah, it? Mean, yeah. like, it's it's everywhere. Everyone knows. Parks and Rec made a joke out of it. They did. Like everybody, every, so when you see reactors, watch like what? And I'm like, like oh, you, you are, are full lying. Of <laughs> you are li you are faking it. However, great movie, even though if you know the twist. It's yeah, no, it's really it, yeah, it's worth watching, even yeah. if you, even you know the twist. It's it's really good. I think more of the family drama stuff with it really. No, um, for sure, yeah. With um. Um, oh my god, I'm totally uh, Haley Joel Osment and um, his mom, yeah, yeah, whose name eludes me. Oh my god, she's a great actor, Tony Collette. 
Oh, it is Tony Collette. Yeah, right. who is obviously a really, really good actress. We've we, we've uh, we've wandered off. Um, talking twists today. <laughs> talking twists today because they're it, it, not, it's not our fault that they brought up. The they usual brought suspects. it up. It's You're a right. classic twist. And also, even though in the twist in the Usual Suspects, if you haven't seen it, you should watch it. It is a really, really well written movie. Super well written. Won an Academy Award for Best Original Screenplay and Best Supporting Actor for Kevin Spacey. Yes, I know how bad that sounds right now. And I know it's Brian Singer, but just don't, just watch. Just, it. just 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 watch. Just the movie. Separate it. Forget that there are monsters. <laughs> just watch the movie. Um, no, this was this was this was a lot of fun. Um, this episode, I. I I, I like the fact that we, we you know, we're, we're we're back to just kind of like the kids being kids, you know. Yeah. And, and like be so easily and swayed. how awkward and how really cringe they can be. Oh yeah, I mean, for sure. Oh my god. It, it, it took oof. it took four minutes for them to be like, I die for her. And it, like this one hit hard because like I have always been interested in writing and reading. Sure. And so when I was in high school, I took you know honors English. Right. And we had to write a story. I thought it was the most everybody does story right, yeah. I've ever written it will ever be written of all sure. time. So this registered so hard. I was cringing for like half this episode <laughs> right. because oh my god, we've all we've all been there. We everybody knows the one kid that got way into it writing his or her own emo poetry for yeah. a while, yeah. and it's like I am my my soul is a dark black cauldron of yeah. angst, and then it's just like <laughs> I was like we've all we've all seen I it. Understand anything? anything. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's just what it's is bad. alive. Um, <laughs> yeah but, so I, I really like how they kind of lean into it this was a lighter episode we got yeah. kind of away from the heavier stuff which I'm, I'm totally cool with yeah um it, you know again at its heart this is still a comedy and oh, they, sure. they, they really leaned into it here um I, we were talking about orla last time i said that the actress who played orla whose name is escaping me again um has her own show now and i couldn't remember the streaming service i think it's actually a disney plus show oh that she's that she's running lead on an ensemble show she's running lead on so oh, it's cool good for her yeah get that disney um, money yeah, good for yeah and the uh, i think someone said the oldest one in the cast because you're talking about that is claire it's claire okay it's, i think she's almost i mean obviously this this, this show this, you know, these episodes aren't this year right yeah. but she's it's pushing right. 40 now that's weird to think, right? I know because she really crushes playing a little girl. She, I mean, does. she does. She she looks the youngest out of all of them. Too. I think so too. And, yeah. And, and now that we know that they're like actually grown adults. Yeah, they're all adults in right. their thirties. I'm I'm trying to look and see. I'm like, do they look like adults at all? I'm I'm trying to like really look. They don't. They look like they're they, they, they do a really good job. I think of all of them, Michelle is the one that most clearly looks like an adult of the, of the I, entire. But cast. I think that's the point, right? Well, yeah. It, right. It'd be kind of funny if she was the youngest of the cast, <laughs> <laughs> right? Is is uh, out there as she is? Yeah. As far as being. A little uh, racy, I guess. Uh, you could you could put it that way. Sure. <laughs> Her poem, by the way, really cracked me up. Yeah. And how she was just into it. Orla's dog. Orla's dog. That's picture. actually pretty good. It was, good. it was a good drawing of a dog. Um, uh, and, or, and Orla's personal war against her socks. Um, I just love the randomness of Orla. Just always. whatever she's got going on is completely separate from the group, and like she just fits in like a glove. She fits yeah. like a glove. She really does. Yeah, I, I mean Orla, who thinks she can go all the way in step aerobics, um, it's just always something that I'm going to really love. Um, <laughs> this, this show is is such a great time. It, you know, even just with the movie, they just never step away from the time period and that 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 moment in time. Uh, it locks which is in. a lot of fun. Yeah, it, absolutely. It, as soon as the episode starts, I think that's why the music helps. Yeah, for sure. Sometimes when you use music in a show or a movie. It, it can feel out of place or it can just right. feel like, uh, oh, we're just playing this because it's a good song. I, I genuinely think they're using the music in this show to really transport you back to that time, right? right. I, like I said, I've been listening to 90s music all week and I've just been feeling good because this show, it gets stuck in your head and it's catchy. For sure. But the fact they're using this 90s music, it really sets the stage for the whole series, honestly. No, it, it really does, yeah. I, I, I feel like... Um... A lot, a lot of writers, especially screenwriters, will listen to music while they're writing. Sure, and I, I feel like that probably happens here. Yeah, you know what I mean. I feel like the the writer, and I'm, I'm forgetting her name. Um, obviously that she has some skills. She has some oh, game. Sure. We're, we're working as the solo writer on this project. Um, uh, obviously has skills, but I, I feel like the music is it really informs the story a hey, lot. The cranberries in general, it's like sure. they have um, they have like a really pop. A very pop sensibility, but at the same time, there's a like a bit of melancholy rooted in it. Absolutely, and I think that matches this perfectly. Sure. Unless that is just you know that's the Irish soul coming through. Right. I don't, yeah. I, I, I mean, all sure. of it. I mean, all of it. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Uh, but but I'm I'm really I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this season. Yeah. Honestly, I, I've been in. Well, I've been in since season one, but the last two episodes have been fantastic. Yeah, I've I've loved the show since we started yeah. off. The 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 
the well-developed characters right out of the gate are, are something that TV shows don't get right most of the time, and this one really does. Oh, yeah. We'll catch you in the next one, guys.